Memorial's resource room, then. Major Frey's Memorial resource room. Oh, stop worrying about Judy. She's just going to have to wear it. Especially now the CEO is in the black. Have we only got three lines left? Uh, they've been ordered. They'll be here later. Last minute? Yeah, sorry. Like other decisions I can think of. Can you look at it from where I'm standing for a second, please? I want to have a baby. The girl I love wants my baby, which I truly thought would never ever happen. So you go and give me the runaround. It was never like that, okay? Things are different now. You can't expect me to choose you over Lee May. Hey, if we put it to the vote. Don't, all right? Because it's my vote that counts. Maya's okay with it now, but if she wasn't, would you would you risk losing her? No, Norman, the issue here is, is that one of my very best friends gave me a promise. Verbally and in writing. Jay, Look, we even go as far as sleeping together. And then he breaks his promise. And I apologize for that. <sighs> Things change. Yeah, you're damn right, because here I was thinking I was someone special to you. And you know what? All along, I was just a consolation prize. I'm really sorry you see it like that. No, Norman. You're just worried that I'm going to take our agreement to a lawyer. Are you? You better believe it. Good, I've cleared the decks. Thank you, everyone. I know you're all busy. I just want to discuss some ED issues. Ah, the uh, application form. Oh, you're fine. Sarah? Oh, right. <clears throat> um, well, we all know that it can be really tough trying to keep track of the latest techniques and procedures. So, Maya and I have come up with a way, using proceeds from a drug trial, to fund a resource room, like a research centre for both doctors and nurses. What's involved in a drug trial, Maya? First, you have to familiarise yourself with the drug. Intensive preliminary reading, that's right. Then? Getting consent. Which is easy. Who does that? Nurses. Then? Administering and monitoring. Who has to document everything? Nurses. So it could be summed up in two words, extra workload. So it's a little bit of extra elbow grease. A lot more. But a big benefit for everyone. Drug trials should be undertaken on their merit. Not because of some self-serving financial gain. Can't you see that this is a win-win situation, Judy? I can see this is a thin end of the wedge. We just want a resource base. So what's next? Corporate cubicles? Are your stitches are brought to you by Captain Krusty Pizza? Well, now there's an idea. Okay, we all know there are commercial extremes, but there are also circumstances where commerce and medicine coexist quite nicely. I'll need to look into it, but I have a feeling that this could be one of them. Hey. Hey, Maya, um, I shouldn't have snapped at you before. Oh. Forget it. Hey. What? That was a sorry. Oh, huh. would you like a medal? Okay, no reason. I just really wish you'd come to the sentencing. Why? We might get the old Mark back. I miss him. Unlawful breaking and entering. Twelve counts. Grievous bodily harm. Two counts. Any final comment, Mr. Kermont? Yes. I look at my recent history with shock and revulsion like a stranger in my own life. I completely acknowledge and admit to my actions. I invaded homes. I provoked acts of violence, mostly against myself. But then I took advantage of Li Mei Chen. She was so desperate for money that I was able to force her to sleep with me for it. I held a scalpel to Maya's face, I threatened to disfigure her. We know your crimes. Mark, this has always been about you. My relationship with you has been difficult for me. God knows I didn't deal with it the right way, but I'm, I'm just sorry that you couldn't deal with it at all. Do any of the victims wish to speak? Mark, say something, please. Mark, please, say Order. something. Mark! Order! 
her way. I should never have pushed Mark into going. Hugo just made it worse. Not just for Mark. That poor boy. Still, maybe she's done the decent thing. Told him about Hugo. I don't think I've ever heard anything so... Maybe not. Mum. I have to. now anyway i know they didn't have enough money for norman's drug but even so well look she's left with you go for money that makes her a hooker what kind of mother is she gonna be jay no she so doesn't deserve him none of her business <sighs> only he knew how stinky she really is you can't say anything yes i can because if the roles were reversed she so would do it in a second and you want to sit to her level well he's got a right to know yes but not from you well, give her a chance what to get away with it he won't thank you for it, and it won't change his mind about the baby. Mm. Don't worry, the truth will come out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your mum is at the court case, eh? Hey? So? So? No. She is going to keep her mouth shut, and so are you. Hmm? Mm. Oh. Hey, Norman, the bookings are really good for tonight. So do you mind if I call another way to him? Yeah, of course. You don't normally ask. No, I don't. Um, I was just kind of looking for an excuse to talk to you. You don't need an excuse. Well... I totally freaked out about the baby thing, and I'm really sorry. No, look, I'm the one who's sorry. No, I was being selfish. Well, I know how much you want to have a baby, so... Yeah, yeah, but I don't want to lose you as a friend either. And that goes double for me. So, I never went to the lawyers. You didn't? No. No, of course not. <laughs> the point of having children is, is about honesty and commitment and caring for each other. Thank you, Jay. It's got to be right for the both of us. And you've been through so much. So, I'm kind of embarrassed that I freaked out. No, look, don't be, okay? Friends? Of course. I've already told Jay it's none of our business. We're going to stay right out of it. Thanks. But to be honest, I don't see how you can... Keep it from normal? Yeah, no. I don't have a choice. Why don't you just explain that to him like you explained it to me? You don't think I've already thought of that? Because I know Norman. He'd never forgive me. You forgave him. I know it's not the same, but we had to deal with Jay and Norman sleeping together and we got over it. It's a decent proposal, 2005. Jay, it's pretty low. If Maya was on death's door, you'd do anything to help her, wouldn't you? You want to judge me? That's your business. No, all I want to know is, is what are you going to tell your child? I mean, it's going to come up one day. Don't you even... Okay, try. guys, just chill out. Lemay, we're not going to say anything to Norman. Now, can we just drop it? Yeah, sure. Let's go for lunch. Thank you. Right, uh, table six. Hey. Oh, and his latte for the... Uh, into the bar, I've done that. Oh, uh, well, I'll just restock the fridge. Mm-hmm, I've done that too. Oh, <laughs> mate, we make a pretty hot team. Yeah, you know it. Much easier now that we're actually talking. Much easier. Mm, I'm glad we've sorted everything out. Mm. Now you can start looking for a donor. You know, there's going to be heaps of guys out there breaking their neck. Yeah, I know, but you'll still always be your first choice to be with daddy. Jay. Okay, I'm sorry, don't panic. I wasn't guilt tripping, but I just want you to know that if you ever change your mind, I'm here for you. Thank you, but, you know, it's not going to happen. Lee May is really into having a baby now. Well, I hope she realises how lucky she is, because it's much luckier than she deserves. Hey, careful, or we'll be falling out again. Jay, there's no way that we can stay friends if you can't accept that Lee May is everything to me. Like Maya is to you. I have tried to get on with Lee May, but then she goes and says something or she does something and... Forget it. Yeah, there is no point going on about the whole baby thing. You've decided to forgive me. Well, you've got no choice, really, if you want to keep on working here. But you've got to blame Lee May, dislike her. We are never going to be mates, Norman. Not after what she's done. Well, we're right back there then, aren't we? No, we're not. I wasn't talking about the baby. Well, what are we talking about, Jay? We're not sorted at all. I'm sorry.